Okay, I got another video going on this time. Um, it's gonna, I'm doing a install in my garage for a car. So let's see what we got here. I got, I just got this in the box. Um, they used to call this device like a snake oil. This device has been around for more than a decade. Um, from what I can remember, it's always back in the BMW world um, and so forth. And let me just open it up and I can show you. I got the Sprint Booster. So this Sprint Booster, basically what it does is help to control the voltage for your accelerator. Um, in most modern cars, what they call it is called drive-by wire, meaning that as a, as a pedal, it's really nothing physical. There's no attached to like the old, back in the go, good old days, a throttle body to control a flap to let, basically let, uh, open up the gas and things like that. What it does now, and that used to be a wire, now it's all done electronically. There's still a throttle body out in the engine bay area, but it's done with an electronic signal. But for whatever reason, car manufacturers always have like a um, delay, a slight delay for say with these signals. And a device like these, Sprint Booster, um, it's always made for certain specific vehicles. And what it does is it helps to tune and, and turn up the voltage so the response rate is a little bit more rapid. Um, with that being said, I just got this um, two days ago and it came in the mail. Um, so thanks a lot for, for, um, for sending it out from, uh, from um, uh, Johnson's Research Performance. Uh, but it was actually, I will put the link below to ex exactly where I ordered it from. But let's open it and see what's actually in here. So there's the manual, as usual. Um, there's some zip ties and a sticky pad. There is the barcode for warranty. And then here's the device for sale. This is the this is the actual device that will go in your car to help you control the number or what map you want and how much sensitivity you want to input. And then, this is the magic plug that will go between your pedal, your throttle pedal, and then into this particular device to help you control the, the voltages. Um, I'm gonna go take a look at my car and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so this is my pedal needless to say and I put some light to it you have to excuse me hopefully you guys can see it you guys can see all the way up here where this right here is that little plug which I need to swap it out to to put that uh, particular part in between there so we can intercept the signal and so forth so I will start trying to install it it doesn't look too hard but hopefully I just gotta take my time so hang tight. So literally, this is a pretty simple plug and play type of deal, but it's just the angles are, of plugging these things in are pretty weird and pretty tough for say. So this is the last part where I need to plug this controller wire into this area right here. Okay, so everything is snug and tight. I'm not gonna mount the wires yet because I need to make sure everything's good. So basically, it goes from back there. You can see where the, right here, where the, the pedal is. And then I will run the wire through here and then it'll end up right there. That's where I want it. So, I think the device is really easy and really straightforward to install. I need to let the car cycle a couple of times to ensure that all the mapping, everything, the throttle response is good. Um, again, I want to thank Jason Berkman, Berkman Industry, for sending me the product really quick. And he even gave me a super cool shirt, which I really appreciate. Um, go out to SprintBoosterNow.com. Uh, go order it, check it out. I really appreciate it. And I'll let you know in a couple weeks how I like the Sprint Booster. Before I've read what I've seen, everyone's gave it a really good review, so 
I can't imagine I'm not gonna have a good time with it. And again, it is Sprint Booster. Uh, this is the version three, so it should be good. All right, talk to you soon. Take care, guys.